cardiac arrest is characterized by a sudden loss of consciousness with no pulse and a cessation of breathing. Without immediate help, the patient will die. Chest compressions are most important and maintain some circulation to the brain. Every minute without cardiopulmonary resuscitation represents a worsening of the chance of survival by 10%. After 10 minutes, the chances of survival are very low. Most cardiac arrests are due to ventricular fibrillation, arrhythmia that results in ineffective pumping of the blood. Electrical shock from an external defibrillator is the most effective measure to stop ventricular fibrillation and restore normal heart rhythm. It is then followed by advanced life support, including artificial ventilation and the administration of drugs. Prevention of sudden cardiac death consists of many strategies. However, the most important is public awareness of the problem. It has to be emphasized that cardiac arrest is not the same as a heart attack. While cardiac arrest is due to an electrical problem and could be compared with impaired electricity in the house, a heart attack or myocardial infarction affects the plumbing of the heart and could be compared to a blocked pipe in a house's plumbing. Although both can result in death, more than half of deaths due to cardiac arrest occur without any prior known heart disease. We have really very reliable scientific data which confirm that patients who have the highest risk of dying suddenly are patients who already survived a cardiac arrest. Clinical evidence suggests that the most reliable prevention of sudden cardiac death in these patients lies in the implantation of an implantable cardioverter defibrillator or ICD. The system consists of a device that is implanted under the collarbone with an electrode screwed inside the heart. An ICD monitors heart rhythm and in the case of detection of life-threatening arrhythmia can deliver shock or rapid pacing to restore normal heartbeat. Implantation of ICD is typically done under local anesthesia in a dedicated cath lab once the electrode is fixed in the heart, the device is placed in the subcutaneous pocket and the wound is closed by a suture. The implant procedure is often completed by testing the device function under short general anesthesia. Thanks to a unique project called the ERA White Book, data have been accumulated from the majority of European countries on the significant disparity in the implant rates of these devices. The situation is worst in Eastern European countries. The goal of the ICD for Life uh, campaign is uh, to raise the awareness for sudden cardiac death in Europe and uh, to introduce uh, more knowledge about uh, the prevention of sudden cardiac death. And the major milestone uh, therapy for this type of patients is the implantation of a implantable cardioverter defibrillator. 